Hi, boys and girls. My name's Miss Mitchell, and I am a children's librarian at the West Babylon Public Library. Some of you might remember me from the last time I came to the school to visit you, or even from us talking and seeing this video last year. But it's that time of year again, and I'm here to talk to you guys about summer reading. So let's get started. This year, our summer reading theme is Adventure Begins at West Babylon. So this year, all our summer programs and the whole room is going to be all about adventure. So it's camping, hiking, mountains, lakes, super exciting, and I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. Let's get started. So for the club starts on June 8th, which is coming up so soon. And for every minute you read, you get one point. You collect prizes and raffle tickets at every 100 points. So you earn a 1,000 points to complete the club. And you can get raffle tickets for a chance to win one of our grand prize baskets at the end of summer. So if it's one minute to read a point, or one minute to earn a point, and one minute... Um, how many minutes do you have to get to get 100 points? 100 minutes, that's right. So if you start reading 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, it's gonna add up really quick and you'll be able to get your first um, prizes from our prize baskets and raffle tickets. So how to sign up. So with a parent or grown up, you're going to visit the library's website or download the Read Squared app. I'm going to show you guys really quick how to do that. There we go. Okay. So what you're going to do on the library's homepage, see where it says Adventure Begins at West Babylon? You're going to know because that one kind of looks like a badge, right? Like you would get in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. So you're going to click on this with a grown-up and it's gonna bring you to this. And all it has all information here and you're gonna to click to register. Okay, so over here, you can see we have a countdown. So I'm recording this on a Thursday, which means in eight days from now is when the Summer Reading Club starts. So it's really easy to register. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. You're gonna click register. You're gonna click myself. And you're gonna say how old you are and what grade you're in. So let's say you're in second grade. It's gonna sell you to go into the Adventure Begins at West Babylon. So you're gonna put your first name. Let's use my dog, Sam. Then your last name, Mitchell. And then this, you can fill out with a grown up. You have to put what school you're attending. So I'm um, Sam doesn't go to any of these schools, so I'm going to say my school is not listed. And Sam is actually five years old, so he is in going to go into second grade. Or he's turning six, I'm sorry. You also have to fill out a username and password. So this you're going to do with a grown-up, but we recommend doing the first letter of your first name and then your last name. So Sam is S and then M for Mitchell. And then the password, we're recommending doing the last four digits of your phone number. Then you can uh, choose a different avatar. This year, they're all different musical instruments. Sam, he's a tambourine kind of guy. So we're gonna say tambourine, okay? So exciting news. Sam has earned his first summer badge just for signing up and more prizes await for him if he keeps reading. So that means that when you sign up for the club, you can sign up now, but you can't start getting prizes until and recording books until June 8th, but you do get a prize just for signing up. So here it's going to show you the countdown. When the club is live after June 8th, it's going to have all the other information there, okay? So let's go back to see what kind of some of the prizes are going to be. Here we go. Okay. So we just did how to sign up. So now let's talk about what you can read. I know you guys have done this before. So obviously you can read books. Those count, right? 
And graphic novels, comic books, those count too. What about if you read to your family, to your mom or your brother or sister or little cousin? That counts. It also counts for them. You can also read ebooks or books you find on a computer. That all counts. If you read to your pet, to your dog, how about if you read to your goldfish? Does that count? It does. Also, if someone else reads you a story. So if you come to the library and you attend one of our story times, we have our outdoor family story time, a whole bunch of ones. Um, anything you read, all of those minutes count towards getting a prize. It's so easy, you guys. You're going to hit a thousand points, no problem. So how to earn prizes. You do, like we said before, you get a prize just for signing up and you can start collecting that after June 8th or if you come to our kickoff, which I'll tell you about in a few minutes, but you keep reading and recording books. Once you earn a hundred points, so every hundred minutes that you read, you can stop into the children's room and collect your prize. So this means that you get a prize at a hundred, 200, 300, that's right, 400, all the way up to 1,000. And once you read 1,000, if you collect 1,000 points and read 1,000 minutes, you also get a finale prize. And it is a good one this year, let me tell you. The prizes that you can get just for reading throughout the, throughout the summer, we're going to have a giant bin filled with all different um, prizes that you can choose from. There's going to be books and all different toys and stickers and all different stuff. So you'll be able to come in and choose whatever you want. But you have to read, remember, don't forget. So our grand prize baskets are pretty good this year. Here is some of the grand prize baskets that we have. Now remember, you don't get, you can choose which raffle ticket you wanna put in for these grand prize baskets. That doesn't mean that you're gonna get it. It means that you have a chance to win it at the end of the summer. So we have tickets to Adventureland, we have tickets to White Post Farms, for Harbs Barnyard, Cold Spring Harbor, the Cradle of Aviation, Long Island Ducks tickets to go for fireworks night. We have registration for West Babylon Community Youth Group, Splish Splash, Sky Zone, and then we have a bunch of other um, uh, grand prizes. And all of these are on display in the children's room. So you can come in and see all of them. So once you read 100 points, you're going to get your e-raffle ticket. And then you can put that towards any of these. So the more you read, the more raffle tickets you get, which means the more raffle um, prizes you can put in to receive and have a better chance of winning those at the end of the summer. Here is one of our programs that's going on over the summer. And remember guys, these are just a few. This, this isn't everything that we have. These are just a few that I chose that I thought you guys would be super interested in. So the first one that we have coming up in July is marine reptiles and their land buddies. We will be having all different reptiles coming to the library that you'll be able to meet. So you can sign up for this in the children's room with a grown up or if your grown up calls the library or does it online, it's super easy to do. We also have a chocolate treasure kit. So you'll be able to make a chocolate treasure chest and fill it with candy and eat the whole thing. I think I might try to sign up for that one. Just kidding, I'm too old. That's just for kids. We also have this awesome one called Power of Poseidon. Poseidon was a Greek god that ruled all of the water and the oceans. So this, you're going to hear, you can learn all about different myths and maritime and create your own terracotta pot with all different designs on it and learn all about Poseidon, the, the ocean god. It sounds really cool. And we also have pause for reading. We have Marcus, our therapy dog is coming. And did you guys know that if you read to Marcus, does that count as points towards summer reading? It does, it does. So not only do you get to hang out with super cute Marcus, but you also get to record points for summer reading. We also have a Taylor Swift is coming. It's right off our Eros tour, and she will be coming to take pictures so that you definitely have to sign up for, and you can do that with a grown-up. The other one we have is the Squishmallow Woodcraft. This program is you're going to make a Squishmallow-inspired craft that you can take home, and 
decorate it yourself. It looks so cool and I can't wait for you guys to sign up for it. And finally, we have this really cool thing going on at the library. So when I was thinking about camping and I was thinking about adventure, I was trying to figure out the best way that we could do a craft for it in the library. And I came up with this great idea and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So to help decorate the children's room, we are going to actually make a whole badge wall. So you can come into the library and ask the librarian at the desk for a badge um, paper. And then you can decorate inside this whole circle however you want, whatever you want it to do. If you want it to be um, like uh, for dogs, if you want to make it camping, if you want to make it hiking, if you want to make it about fruits and vegetables, about the beach, about the ocean, it could be anything you want, rainbows, whatever. You just have to fill it out and then you can give it to the librarian and we're actually going to turn it into a button and a badge and we're going to display it all over the library. We're going to have a big tapestry to have all the badges that you guys created there and it's going to be super cute and then you can pick it up at the end of the summer and get your own badge. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'm super excited for you to stop by the library. Oh, I actually do have one other thing I wanted to share and I'm so sorry I didn't talk to you about it before. I actually wanted to show you guys. If you go to our homepage, I don't know why it didn't load. I'm so sorry about that guys, but we have our summer reading paint party. So Miss Kathy, who does our paint night, is going to be coming to the library and we're gonna do all different stations with her to decorate adventure themes for the children's and the teen rooms. So it's a giant community paint day. You do have to register and choose one session. So either 11 to 11.45 or 12.15 to 1 p.m. 1 uh, PM, but Miss Kathy will be there. You guys can do a whole paint day, sign up for summer reading. We're going to have some crafts and different games to do in the backyard, and it's going to be a super fun Saturday. So don't forget to sign up for this. And I can't wait to see you guys at the library. Happy summer reading. Bye guys.